हाय हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्रेड अप वेलकम टू द सेशन स्कोर बूस्टर सीरीज फॉर बार्क सीएस 2020 वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एल्गोरिदम्स इन स्कोर बूस्टर सीरीज बिफोर वी गेट इनटू द सेशन सो लेट मी वेलकम यू ऑल आशुतोष ललित सतीश Advaita good evening everyone so students please join the session quickly so without doing much delay we will enter into the session once you join so we are all waiting for you to join guys okay <coughs> so yesterday we have already discussed few questions few model questions about algorithms today we will discuss few more okay so this is the first question guys what is the recurrence relation for worst case of much sort and what is the time complexity in worst case much sort time complexity what is your answer guys what's your answer for much sort time complexity and much sort recurrence relation much sort has equal time complexity in every case right best case average case worst case but here what is the recurrence relation for it 2t of n by 2 plus o of n t of n by 2 for one sub part or for one sub list another t t of n by 2 for another sub list so definitely it would be 2t of n by 2 plus big o of n yes so definitely that is option c in all cases its time complexity is this next one the recurrence relation t of n equals to t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2 plus 1 is suitable for which of the following factorial of a given number gcd of given two numbers lcm of given two numbers fibonacci series for which this is the recurrence relation guys so asutosh d pradeep d sonal d shreyas d okay all were giving the answer d exactly guys fibonacci series it is the time for adding the first previous element and the next previous element and as it is a recurrence we can say it is t of n plus t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2 and this is the constant time for condition checking or addition next or printing you can say next one which of the following is not the internal sorting technique which is not the internal sort guys what do you say which is not internal sort insertion sort bubble sort match sort heap sort what is internal sort or what is external sort whenever it is using the main memory while sorting that is called internal sort if it is using secondary memory 
or external memory while sorting that is called external sort merge sort is a internal sort not an internal sorting technique rest all are internal sorting techniques merge sort next one the given array is arr equal to 3 4 5 2 1 then the number of iterations in the bubble sort and selection sort respectively are how many iterations under bubble sort and selection sort is the given list is sorted no it is not sorted list so for a not sorted list or sorted list selection sort takes same amount of time or i mean same number of comparisons or same number of iterations how many n minus 1 bubble sort it take only one iteration if it is sorted it takes n iterations if it is not sorted as it is not sorted bubble sort takes five iterations and selection sort takes n minus 1 four iterations so 5 and 4 5 and 4 next question consider a hash table of size 7 with starting index as 0 and a hash function 3x plus 4 mod 7 assuming that the hash table is initially empty which of the following is the contents of the table when the sequence 1 3 8 10 is inserted into the table using closed hashing note that the hyphen denotes empty location in the table so guys quickly solve this and tell me what's your answer there is a hash table with the seven blocks 1 1 2 3 4 5 six and seven numbered from 0 to 6 okay now first one we want so 3x plus 4 mod 7 is the one 3x plus 4 modulus 7 f of x is equal to or h of x is equal to so h of 1 is equal to 3 into 1 plus 4 modulus 7 7 mod 7 that is 0 so first one will be placed here then 3 what would be h of 3 3 3 is our 9 plus 4 13 mod 7 which is 6 so 3 will be placed here <coughs> 8 h of 8 is equal to 3 8s are 24 plus 4 28 mod 4 that is again 0 but 0 is already occupied so when you do probing the next empty location is 1 so 8 will be placed here and finally 10 h of 10 will be 3 into 10 30 plus 4 34 mod 7 so it goes 7 uh, 4s are 28 so it is giving again 6 but 6 is already occupied so the next empty location 0 that is already occupied next is 1 that is occupied so where 10 will be placed 
here 10 will be placed. So when you start writing the allocations from 0 to 6, it would be 1 comma 8 comma 10 comma empty 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 comma 3. So which suits that? Option B. Option B. Right? Okay. Good one. Good one. Next question. <coughs> Consider the following input. 4, 3, double 2, 1, double 3, 4. So, all these are given. And hash function x modulus 10. x modulus 10 is the hash function. Which of the following statements are true? So, identify the statements that are true. Shreya was telling answer C, Pradeep also telling C, okay, what about others? Guys, it is mod 10, so definitely for 0 and, for 0 only it gives 0, so what is the LSB 2, so it will get 2 as the uh, block number, it will get 4, it gets 1, it gets 9, it gets 9, it also gets 1, 3, 9. So, whoever get 9, they will have, they will get the same value. So, 9, 6, 7, 9, 1, 9, 8, 9, 4, 1, 9, 9 have the same value. Yes, that is true. Then, 1471, 6171 have the same value. Yes, that is also true. All elements hash to the same value, that is false. Each element hashes to a different value, that is also false. Each is not fo following to different value. So, 1 and 2 only. 1 and 2 only, correct, right? Okay, next question, let us see. A connected planar graph having 6 vertices, 7 edges contains dash regions. 6 vertices, 7 edges contains dash number of regions. Guys, let number of vertices be V, number of edges be E, and number of regions be R. Then we have for a connected planar graph, there is a there is a formula for us. What is that? V minus E plus R is equal to 2. Right. So, V is 6, E is 7. So, 6 minus 7 plus R is equal to 2. So, what would be R? 3. So, number of regions would be 3. So, it is the direct formula we have. When you remember that is easy. But when you don't know about it or when you do not remember, definitely you don't know how to do or what to do. 
so guys for from trees and from graphs don't forget to remember or learn all the formula very important okay next question here is an infix expression 4 plus so infix expression is given suppose that we are using the usual stack algorithm the usual stack algorithm to convert the expression from infix to postfix so whatever the algorithm we have we are considering the same algorithm the maximum number of symbols that will appear on the stack at one time that means how many symbols stack hold max at one time during this conversion guys could you please convert it and tell me try doing it guys infix to postfix so what we do we will scan the expression from left to right when the operand is encountered we will write in the output when the operator is encountered we will write push it on to the stack 3 we will en uh, add to the output star which has more priority so we will push that also into the stack then <coughs> left parenthesis push it on to the stack because parenthesis always have more priority then 6 star this is popped and equal to is pushed on to the stack so plus star and another star then 3 then minus minus has less priority than star so plus star star and then minus 12 now all are popped minus star star plus so this would be the postfix expression for that and maximum how many symbols in the stack at any given time four symbols <coughs> yeah i can see <coughs> Priya, Sayyad, Shweta Pandey, Ayushi, Asutosh were giving the answer. Very good. Keep it up. <clears throat> Next question. The prefix form of A minus B divided by C into D X or E. <clears throat> Convert this infix expression to prefix expression, guys. Convert this into prefix expression. How to convert? We have to scan from right to left. Right to, to left, we have to scan from E. Of course, we can neglect the parenthesis. E we will write it on to the output and then XOR we will push it on to the stake then D then star that has equal priority same priority so star we push there and xor we will pop here so then c 
then <coughs> division operator which has same priority so star v pop and greater than we will push then b then minus has less priority so we will push it onto the stack then a then minus and star sorry wait minus has less priority no wait a minute e b minus huh so we will by that time this is there so we will write this and then a then minus now we will write it in reverse so minus a divided by b star c xor d and e so minus a by b star c xor d my e okay so it is option c we will scan from right to left we will write the output also right to left then we just reverse it if the scanned one has least priority less priority if uh, scanned operator like actually for uh, infix to prefix we don't follow priorities infix to prefix we can say if the scanned one is uh, operator pop all operators from stack and push scanned operator on the stack push scanned operator on the stack better if you remember this it would be very easy for you if the scanned one is operator then pop all operators from the stack that are available till again the parenthesis as we have neglected the parenthesis here that is not required okay navin just follow this that would be easy next one a stable sorting algorithm does not crash does not run out of memory does not change the sequence of appearance of elements does not exist so what is that a stable sorting algorithm which is called stable sorting algorithm yes while you are sorting when the sequence of elements doesn't change that is called stable sorting algorithm next one this is very important guys you can remember next one in binary heap whenever the root is moved then sorry root is removed then the rightmost element of last level is replaced by the root why 
why you replace only the rightmost element of the last level only to the root why do you do that as it is easy easiest possible way or it is to make sure it is still complete binary tree or it is because left and right subtree might be missing none why why do we do that to make the complete <coughs> cbt property the complete binary tree property always while we are mean heapifying either for min heap or max heap we have to make sure that the complete binary tree property satisfies that's why we should always we should always make sure that the rightmost element of the last level is replaced by the root right so if you take something like this 72 50 10 30 42 18 uh, some 21 if you delete this with 21 you will replace then 21 is gone here means just assume it is not there then it is still satisfying the complete binary tree property that's why we still to maintain the complete binary tree property still we will uh, replace the rightmost element next question which of the following algorithm ca cannot be designed without recursion so what do you say guys thas of hanoi fibonacci series tree traversals none of the above without recursion which cannot be designed <coughs> pradeep kumar was telling towers of hanoi okay asutosh neeraj sohil are also with towers of hanoi shweta also with towers of hanoi <coughs> okay mala nishad a sayed mohammad uh, gulam d sonali a akash a so all are with the answer a but sayed was telling d okay lalit is also telling d right fine guys guys you remember one thing recursion is just an alternate technique for iteration what is recursion it is just an alternative approach than iteration and from iteration to recursion do we get any performance improvement means no performance improvement in fact with recursion you require much memory than iteration so recursion is just an alternate for itera iteration there is no algorithm or no program that you can write this only with recursion but it may be easy some programs may be easy to write using recursion than iteration but it is not that it can be written only using recursion remember every recursive code can be replaced by loop yes or no you can replace it but it may be more loc it may be more complex than recursive code but it is not mandatory to implement only using recursion there is no such code so definitely it is uh, none of the above <coughs> there is no such code that it cannot be designed without recursion no 
Towers of Hanai has iterative version. Fibonacci series has iterative version. Even tree traversals also have iterative version. Maybe recursive code may be simple, but iterative code is also there. Okay. Next one. Traveling salesman problem is an example of dynamic algorithm, greedy algorithm, recursive approach, divide and conquer approach. Traveling salesman problem is an example of what? Branch and bound, okay. Sohil was telling branch and bound, rest all are telling A, that means dynamic algorithm, that means you mean DP, dynamic programming, okay. Right. But guys, remember, this traveling salesman problem can be solved using DP, can be solved using greedy method, can be solved using... Uh, branch and bound technique also but which is more effective means greedy algorithm using a greedy method you can solve it efficiently than branch and bound branch and bound has more space complexity So, greedy algorithm gives you better result than DP. Okay. If you want details, you please refer that guys. In terms of time complexity, you will have difference. Next question. A binary search tree whose left subtree and right subtree differ in height by at most one unit. It is a direct question. It's a direct definition, right? AVL tree, which is also called as self-balanced binary search tree. Guys, as you may refer that Geeks for Geeks website, there it is clearly given about a traveling salesman problem. You can just go through that. Yeah, effectively is not asked Gurpreet, but when we have two options, DP can solve that, greedy method also can solve that, then obviously we will select the most efficient one. Otherwise, DP would be the answer for Gurpreet. So, Geeks for Geeks would be one source where you can get direct answer and you can refer any other books as well for as Corman you will get uh, the correct uh, explanation for that. I mean, the detailed explanation for that. Next one. In the dash traversal, we process all of a vertex's descendants before we move to an adjacent vertex. Before we move to an adjacent vertex, one vertex all descendants are traversed in which traversal technique. 
डेप्थ फर्स्ट ब्रेथ फर्स्ट विथ फर्स्ट डेप्थ लिमिटेड अफकोर्स हियर टू ट्रैवर्सल्स वी कैन सी डेप्थ फर्स्ट ब्रेथ फर्स्ट सो विच वन यू से गाइस if you if you choose one vertex its all descendants are traversed before you visit the adjacent vertex definitely it is oh people are giving b also let us say it is the graph connected graph directed graph if you choose a you will come to c let's say from c you will go to d from d you will go you may go to e if it is minimum spanning tree based on the cost we we will move on now from e to b b to d like this we will traverse till its descendants before coming to the adjacent vertex so that that is definitely depth first traversal depth first traversal technique so guys i have presented in the yesterday's class about uh, some questions of recurrence relations prims algorithm kruskal's algorithm right and always always at first priority try to remember the applications of the four or five algorithmic techniques dp divide and conquer greedy method backtracking branch and bound try to remember the applications i have done i have presented those applications in brief in the score booster series of gate so you may refer that and then try solving recurrence relation maybe recurrence relation question can be definitely expected in bark so because <coughs> in discrete maths you will get that even in algo also you will get that so it is always better to practice recurrence relation solving if you are not good at master theorem if you can't understand master theorem very confused with master theorem please don't worry leave it please leave it hindi mein nahi bol nahi bol sakta hu bhai mera hindi acha nahi hai vibhav so try to adjust with english i am not good at hindi okay so <coughs> the topics that you should not forget or you should not leave is mainly recurrence relation solving if you are not good at master theorem go with substitution method no problem and then applications of uh, algorithms and then prims algorithm kruskal's algorithm that is very important then tree traversals okay tree traversals very important guys so that's all for today so try to get this green card access so that you will have access to all mock tests so we'll meet in the next session guys till then prep smart score better go grade up